Three. Here. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. guys doing? Let me know that you're on as you join and leave a comment. Let us know where you're tuning in from in the world. My name is Bianca. I am the owner and artist of Lotus Theory Designs, a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint Company. And today we're going to do some, some blending on a vanity that I got started. It's here behind me. So isn't that purple delicious? I'm going to tell you how I created that. Um, and also we're going to jump into the blending. I have a whole bunch of colors here. I'm not sure what I'm going to use. We're just going to see what comes to us as we go. So it's good to see everybody on. Hi, Dixie Bell. Good to see you here. Um, yes, as Dixie Bell says, let us know where you guys are tuning in from. Hi, Yvonne. Nice to see you. Carolyn here in Mesa, Arizona. I love when my Arizona people get on. I'm in Arizona, if you guys can figure that out. Uh, Sarah from Northern California. And yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have compiled a little bit of a, I guess before, um, showing you guys how I got to this point. Hopefully my technology works today. It's been a little bit glitchy on my end, so let's just see what happens, yeah? <laughs> All right, so I'm not sure if it's working. Like I said, it's a little glitchy on my end, but Pretty much what this video is showing you is the before. Okay, so we have the before of the vanity. Um, we're going to work on the base of it today. And then we have what, yeah, it's a little bit glitchy. I can, I'm watching it on my phone as well. So, okay, I'm just going to take that away. So pretty much what I did to go away. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you what I did. So I started with a basic vanity, okay? It was wood. I cleaned it really well with white lightning. Then I prepped it, well, I sanded it, um, cleaned that all off. I added the wood you bend, and that was part of what that video was gonna show you. It's glitchy, I apologize. Um, anyway, all of these little appliques here, let's bring you guys in. So all of these, aren't these stunning? Little appliques here are wood you bend. Um, all of this is native to the piece. This is a wood you bend molding as well. So I went ahead and I added that. And then I did two coats of gray boss um, just to prevent any kind of wood bleed that might come through my paint job. And then I did two coats of this custom purple color that I mixed. To mix that, so I did a little bit of a tester. I know it's on a dark stick, um, hard to tell. But this is the color purple that I came up with. So I mixed a little bit of a tester, got the shade that I liked, and then mixed a whole bunch of it using aubergine and barred red. Okay. So I, I didn't measure. You guys, I'm terrible at measuring. But I can tell you it was about a two-to-one ratio. So it was about two-to-one aubergine to one of the barn reds. So combined, this color is what I got behind me on this vanity here. So this is going to be a custom for a client. 
um, one of my favorite clients in the world. So if you're if you're watching Miss Glenda, this is for you. Um, and she requested something a little bit warmer. So purple's her favorite color. She wanted something warmer. This is what I came up with. Um, we're going to be doing some blending on it and see where it takes us. So with that said, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'm going to try to keep an eye on the comments as well as paint. Um, yeah, it is a shame, Dixie Bell. I know. I All this technology... You know, you're just at the mercy of it. You never know what you're going to get. Right now, I'm just checking to see if there's any pressing questions, and then we're going to get started. Hi, Linda. Linda's watching from YouTube. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. So we're watching on the Dixie Bell Facebook page, my Lotus Theory Designs Facebook page, Lotus Theory Designs on YouTube, as well as my membership group, Lotus in the Raw. So we're watching in four different places here. All right, let's get to it, you guys. So let me just zoom this in so you guys get a better view. of the piece. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is do some stippling. So I have a bunch of paintbrushes here um, ready to go. I have water. Not sure if we're going to need it, but should we need it? We have this handy dandy Mr. Bottle ready. Um, I also grabbed a whole bunch of colors. And for the stippling, I typically like to use um, a mini synthetic brush by Dixie Bell. Um, I don't know, I like the pattern that it gives me. Sometimes I'll use an oval medium, but that's gonna give me more of a circle um, pattern. So we're gonna stick with the mini today. And let me just get myself prepared. This is that custom color that I mixed up. So let me get this open. Cause we're definitely, we're gonna wanna keep a lot of this purple in the mix, so. So delicious. Purple happens to be my favorite color as well. Yes, Amber. <laughs> Amber, um, yeah, so Amber's asking about my group. Yes, you can message me after the live or you can go to my page. Information is there. Thank you for asking. Hi, Susan from Vermont. Susan's watching from YouTube. All right, so let me just open some of these. I also grabbed Amethyst. I'm not sure if we're going to use it. Um, I grabbed Rebel Yellow. We're probably definitely going to use that. So actually, let me start with the Custom Purple. Debating on these two colors. So we have Kudzu and Palmetto. I'm going to start with Palmetto and see if I like that. So the theme that this room is going in, um, she's hoping for something a little bit more Tuscan styled. I didn't know what that meant, so I had to look it up, sent her an inspiration photo. Um, so I think what I'm going to end up doing is kind of like old world stippled um, mixed with warm tones. Um, oh, and I'm also later on going to hand paint some flowers on the drawers here. So it'll all come together. So let me just start by, got to start somewhere, right? Let me just get this drawer wet by adding a little bit more of this custom purple. So I'm using, I'm not loading my brush with a whole lot of paint. So I put a little bit of paint onto the brush and then I kind of just dab off the excess, okay? I know it's a pretty color, right? Is it Paula? Paula says she loves the color. Jolie loves the color. Hi, Jolie. Drusilla loves the color. <laughs> People are loving the color. Dixie Bell, this might be one for you to to replicate and offer in the line. It is pretty, it's grapier. All right, so let me focus here. So right now I'm just kind of stippling some on just to kind of get it wet. What would happen if I added a little bit of palmetto? So get the excess off. Let's just add a little bit in there and see if we like it. So my process, you guys, when I'm painting is often something like this. I might just test out some colors, do a little bit, see what I come up with, see what I get. So right now I'm just alternating between the palmetto, a little cat hair in there, and the uh, custom purple mix that I have. And I'm just seeing if I like it, okay?
I think I do. It's giving me just a little bit of pop of the palmetto. Okay, so it's breaking up the constant of the purple and just giving me a little bit of dimension. So I'm gonna actually grab a different brush. Usually when I use these lighter colors when I'm stippling, so right now I'm reaching for Rebel Yellow. I do like to grab a different brush um, as to, I guess, not muddy up the paint too much. So let's just put a little bit on a plate and see what we get. Dab a little bit on there. So keep in mind, I said that this center portion here, I'm gonna hand paint some flowers. So right now I'm just kind of doing, I guess, the background to it. So let's blend that in a little bit, see if we like it. This particular finish um, of stippling, honestly, it takes some patience. It does take a while, but it's so pretty. So as I do this, you might notice that I'm trying to keep my brush spinning a little bit. That way, my stipple marks aren't all going the same way. You can kind of see here, maybe, maybe you can see it, that they're all kind of going this way. So it's important to remember to kind of turn your brush as you go. Sometimes I forget. Um, not a big deal. I'm loving the way that the Rebel Yellow is mixing with the purples over here. Um, I'm here for that. That was exactly what I was hoping for. It's giving me a warm um, lavender where it's kind of mixing um, a deep lavender. I'm loving it. So let's do a little bit more. Let's add a little bit more of that Rebel Yellow. Let me jump back to the Palmetto here. See how we're feeling about that. A little bit more of that purple. So the technique I'm using is dry. However, if I find that I need to um, get the paint wet to make it pliable, I can just add a little bit of water to it. Where is my water? What did I do with it, you guys? Have you seen it? It's probably hiding with my millions of tape measures that I can't find. All right, so let me just add a bit and see if I like how that comes out. I'm loving the palmetto mixed with this purple. Oh my gosh, good choice. Good on me. We need a little bit more of that. So the idea behind this stippling technique, I do it often, I teach on it often. The reason that I like it so much is that we're not striving for perfection. It's easy, it's fun. You know, I, I did say it was time consuming, but I feel that it's very re rewarding in the end. Um, I'm not so focused on making everything perfect. I'm not really worried about brush marks um, or any kind of texture. It's all part of the finish. So for me, I love this this technique for that reason. So I'm thinking that, let's just see what happens if I were to add a hair of terracotta in. I use this color a lot as well, um, it just in my stippling or in my blending. So you can kind of see it there. Terracotta, kind of like a terracotta pot planter. Let's just see if we like it. Add a tiny bit in there. Um, because again, this is going to be the background for hand painted flowers. So I'm trying to add some dimension in there. And her setup in her room, the client that this is for, is going to be warmer toned. So let's just see what happens if we add a little bit of that in. Okay, I think I like that. So I just put a little bit in there and I'm just kind of masking it now with the brush that I was using for the purple. So imagine there's gonna be like leaves and all of that painted kind of trailing up and some kind of flowers. I'm not really sure what kind I'm gonna be doing yet. Um, I'll know more when I get to that point. Let me see if you guys have any questions before I keep moving. And what I want to do is carry it up and through, at least get this bottom portion done for you guys. Yeah, Jamie, Rebel, Rebel Yellow is a beautiful color. If you guys haven't checked that out, it's a really good soft yellow. 
Yes, cloud effect, exactly, Drusella. <laughs> Linda, Linda, I want to eat it. You and me both. Anybody want eggplant parmesan? I feel like eggplant parmesan is one of those things. You either like it or you don't. So to recap, um, Dixie, but what is that? Adding a tiny bit of, oh, terracotta. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you out. Um, <laughs> terracotta, sorry about that. <laughs> I thought I was behind on something. <laughs> anyway, to recap, you guys, I got this purple mix here by adding about two, about, okay, two parts aubergine. That's one of Dixie Belle's uh, purples. It's the darkest shade that they offer as well as one part barn red. And that's how I came up with this more grapey purple. Okay. So let me keep going here. Oops. Did not mean to dip into the, to the amethyst. I don't know. Maybe I was meant to. Let's see. Let's put some amethyst in there. I did not mean to dip into that, but let's just see if we like it. Might be cool. A lot of what I do is experimenting. So this might be one of those things where it's a happy accident. Actually, it looks kind of cool for not meaning to do that. I know it's really hard to see because it's kind of far away. Um, but as a close up, it just kind of breaks up the purple just, just a bit. All right, so let's keep going, okay. So I'm just kind of getting it wet right now with a little bit of the purple. I'm really liking the palmetto quite a bit as a, as a color to kind of break up this purple. So let's just add a little bit in there. A little bit more, don't be shy with it. I like the palmetto quite a bit. It's a really nice color combination. Palmetto is one of those colors that mixes well, I feel, um, with other colors. It's green, but it does have a slight blue hue to it. Very, very subtle. And in this case, I think it's picking up on the purple and looking kind of blue compared to the purple. So it's working out quite nicely. Let me just touch this up a little bit here. And then we're going to trail along. Okay, so I think I can, I think I can live with that. If you find that, you know, it's not working or it needs, you need to add to it with this technique, you can just kind of keep going and see what you get. Okay, you can always paint over it. If you don't like it, it's just paint. All right, so let me move this along. Thank you, Linda. Linda likes it. Drusilla's in love with it already. Thank you. Yeah, Drusilla. Drusilla likes the amethyst in there. I know that was that was kind of that was kind of neat. I love when things like that happen because it's not what I was intending, but it's giving me just a bit of dimension. But I don't want to use too much of the amethyst because I don't want the purples to compete. Yeah, Dixie Bell says, who else has an exper experimental style? You guys, let me know. That's that's a good question, Dixie Bell. Um, you know, are you more the, I play it safe, I do what I do, um, and there's nothing wrong with that, or are you more the, let's see what happens, let's just do something and see what happens. Okay, so same thing, just kind of getting it wet with a little bit of that purple. And I was really liking the palmetto. So let's put that in there. Let's get some of that in there. I think I'm going to save the light, like the yellows, the lighter colors for um, probably like the centers, just to kind of let give them a little bit more of an identity. So I think I'm going to stay away for now. Um, stay away from the yellow for the center portion here. That doesn't mean we can't toss a little bit of terracotta in there and see if we like that. And quite possibly, 
I guess the amethyst that I didn't mean to do. <laughs> See if we like that, huh? All right, so now that I've got that there, let's blend it. Right now I'm just kind of getting some of the excess off of my brush. And let's jump back to our purple. I use styrofoam plates a lot, you guys, because, for, well, first of all, paper gets all sloshy and gross. <laughs> um, so I like to use styrofoam. And also they're cheap. You just kind of discard them as you go. All right, so I'm okay with that for now. I might come back to it. I might not. Let's just see what happens. I'm going to move on to this drawer. Yvonne says, not as brave as you. Mix it to the side or on my palette to see if I like it. Hey, that's pretty brave. I mean, you're doing it. Thank you, Terry. Terry says it's pretty. <laughs> Happy little accidents. Bob Ross, your legacy just lives on. Okay, so here we go. Let's get it wet with some of that base color of purple. Yeah, Dixie Belle, I like the freedom. Let's see what happens. Absolutely. I am all about freedom and creativity. So I'm just kind of getting it wet, tossing a little bit more of that purple on there. And then also, you guys, um, you know, it may look that when this style is done, that it's going to be super rough and textured. And it's actually not. So I've done this with both paint brushes as well as like a sponge technique. And um, the sponge technique definitely gives me more peaks in my paint. Um, so therefore giving me more texture when you rub your hand across it and feel it. Whereas this, not so much. So it looks textured um, when it's all said and done. And it is, but it's very, 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 very slight. And what I like to do is knock it down even further with, um, I'll do a sanding in between, well, before my top coat. So I'll just do a very, very fine grit, like 1200 or something like that. And I'll sand this whole thing before I top coat it and it makes it very, very smooth. So if that's a concern, if textures something that holds you back, it won't be, it won't be terrible with this particular technique because I'm using the brush. So rebel yellow, okay, that's what I just threw in there. And let's jump back to our purple. And I think I'm going to end up going a little bit heavier on the palmetto. I can already see that I'm going to want to add some to it. And I'm going to actually go ahead and just hit that just a little bit with the water to help this yellow blend in a little bit more. I barely put any water on there. Hi, Joanne. Welcome to this live. Welcome to my group. <laughs> oh, thank you, Stacy. Stacy Jennings says, I love your teaching style. Well, good, I'm glad. And just so you know, the person is going to also shares your last name. It's meant to be Let me add a little bit more of this palmetto and then I want to toss just a hair of that terracotta in there. I really love this color. Orange is not one of my favorite colors, but this particular shade I'm here for. Just blend it in a little bit. So the cool thing about doing this technique with these brushes is these brushes can take the abuse. So I'll clean it later and they'll bounce right back to their original form. All of my brushes, you can tell by the handles, are pretty worn, um, but look at the bristles. They look good, right? 
a little bit of brush care. I should do a segment on that. This one's so old that it's kind of loose and coming apart, but the bristles are good and that's what matters. <laughs> All right, so yes, I am liking this so much. Just do a little bit more of the blending. Yes, Sabrina says, I'm definitely going to try this. Oh my gosh, you should. Do it right now, Sabrina. <laughs> well, not right now, but you should. It's a lot of fun. Okay. So, let me just kind of move this so you guys can see it in its entirety. That's what we have so far. So, I'm really liking the, the drawers having, I guess, a little bit more pop. Again, I'm going to be hand painting some flowers. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do to the feet. So for now, I'm not going to thing because I may give the feet their own identity too. One of my first its own identity. I keep saying that word, um, <laughs> but I do like to do that. I feel that you know it just kind of gives it a, an interesting dynamic. Yes, so let me come back to the center section a little bit. I think I'm gonna go ahead, and even though I said that I wasn't, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of the Rebel Yellow to this middle section here. Because now that I'm seeing it, I think I want some of it there. Lilac wax would look amazing on those appliques, Dixie Bell says. That's a good idea. So another thing that I do sometimes when I'm using this technique is, you know, instead of dabbing, I will switch it up and I'll kind of do like a swirling motion. And because my brush is dry, my paint is dry, I'm using the existing paint, but it's just kind of lightly dusting over the um, paint and kind of giving me, I guess, a dry brush type, type technique. So my point in saying this is don't be afraid to, you know, dab, spin your brush. If there's an area that you want to shade a little bit heavier, don't be afraid to rub your brush so long as it's not heavily loaded with paint, okay? So I can't wait to add the flowers. The flowers are gonna be, I'm gonna add some reds to it. Probably, um, I don't know, yellow or rust, um, like a burnt orange or rust color. Um, so the whole thing is gonna be very, I guess, warm toned. All right, so I'm just looking to see. Looks lush. <laughs> Karen says, the purple looks lush. I want to hug it. I know, it's so pretty. You guys, purple is my favorite color, so I'm always excited when I get a chance to use it. So let's just do one more drawer, okay, just to kind of give you a visual, and then we will wrap it up. So let's go up here. And I'm not shy about hitting these appliques, by the way. Not shy one bit. Add a little bit of palmetto. We're liking the palmetto. It's a strange angle for me. <laughs> and maybe some of that rebel yellow. Let me just put a bit on the brush, tap a little bit in there, see how we feel. Also, okay, let me move. Very, very strange angle. Here we go. Terry wants to know, am I using the same brush for all colors? 
So I'm using the same brush, Terry, for my darker colors. Thank you for asking that. That's a good question, by the way. I'm using the same brush for the palmetto and the purple, pretty much my darker shades. The terracotta and the rebel yellow are sharing a brush. And for me, I find that if I do it this way, the brushes don't get so muddy. I need a little bit more of this palmetto here. Get some of the excess off. There we go. Just kind of trail it around. Let's kind of frame the frame the drawer with the palmetto. Yeah, I kind of like that. So now palmetto kind of has a place in the mix. And I want to add just a hair more of this rebel yellow. Okay, so notice that I used a different brush for the rebel yellow. There we go, I like that better. I'll blend that in a little bit. All right, what do you guys think? I can live with that. So my plan will be to keep going. Okay, I'm going to keep going with getting a base on this. It's going to take me some time. So um, this technique is beautiful. It's fun, but it also can be kind of time consuming. So, but I am going to keep going. So it does kind of give me, I guess, an old worldly type of look. I'm going to keep going at least on the drawers and then I'll make a decision of, of what I'm going to do on the top in here. Most likely I'm going to go ahead and carry the design all the way through, through the tops, the sides, the underside here. I'm probably going to carry it through because I'm going to be hand painting some flowers on this portion here. Okay. And it does have a whole mirror. I don't want to overwhelm the piece. Um, and so by carrying this, this particular design through, um, it'll make the flowers that I paint on the drawers stand out. Okay. So do you guys have any questions? Let me just get my paint out of the way here. So many paint jars. Almost done. Any questions for me? Ashley loves it. Anything purple because it's my favorite color. It's my favorite color too. I love purple. Thanks, Karen. Karen says gorgeous. Let me move so you guys can see it and me. Um, if you guys have any questions, okay, go ahead and drop them in the comments. Actually, let me come on this side. There we go. Light that baby up. Let you see it. So um, drop them in the comments. I will come back and have a look and see if there's anything that I missed. And I'm excited to show you guys this finished product. So again, to recap, in order to get this purple, I did, oh, what did I do? Aubergine, okay, so dark purple. And I did barn red, okay, I mixed the two together. Roughly a, oh gosh, there we go. Roughly a uh, two to one mix, so two aubergine, one barn red, okay? So if you intend to do this, you'll just have to tinker with it and see if you like it. It's a good idea to do a test. So I tested the color on the stick before I committed to it on my piece. And then we did a stippling technique using, so we used that custom purple, palmetto, rebel yellow, and just a pinch of terracotta so far, okay? Yes, so Sabrina, yes. I'm thinking that that burgundy, because I, I really wanted to put it in here, but I'm like, you know what? The burgundy will be in the flowers. Yes, I like the way you think. Thank you, Mary Jane's loving the technique. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you, Marie Helene. I'm not sure if I said that right. Um, as far as brushes, I use Dixie Bell's synthetic mini brushes. Okay. There's any other questions you guys? Oh yeah. And Amethyst. Thanks, uh, Yvonne. 
I totally forgot. I did put amethyst in there, but just a skosh. It's barely even noticeable. Um, anyway, if you guys have any other questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments. I will try to get back to you. Um, if you're watching from YouTube, the link to follow me is in the description. Also, in all descriptions, in all channels that we're watching from, the links to buy these Dixie Dell products is in the description. If you use that link, I do get a monetary kickback. So thank you guys for your support. I will see you guys in a couple of weeks live. And if you're in my group, I will see you a lot sooner than that. And I look forward to it. Thank you guys very much.